Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson six. And in this lesson, students are gonna be solving problems involving mixed units of capacity. So really what they're gonna be focusing on now is, for example, we'll be having gallons and quarts. And we're gonna be adding uh, gallons and quarts to more gallons and quarts or subtracting. So that's where, what we're talking about in terms of mixed units of capacity. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with some baby problems. Uh, things where we're starting with some mixed units, oh, like right here, because we've got some gallons and quarts, and then we're going to add them, in this case, and get just a single unit. For example, uh, let's zoom in, let's do that. So one gallon and two quarts plus two more quarts. A couple of ways to think about it, uh, but let's just add like units. So we've got gallons, and then we've got some quarts and we've got some more quarts. So those quarts can be added together to give us four quarts. And then we have the one gallon still. So when we add these two together, we end up with one gallon plus four quarts. That makes sense so far. But we need to remember that four quarts is equal to a gallon. So that's equal to one gallon. So we really have two gallons here because here's one gallon and then these four quarts make another gallon all right so that's the idea of what we're going to be doing now we can subtract as well uh, so let's take a look right here let's take a look at this so here oh look at that we're gonna have a mixed answer because we have two units there um, so we've got three gallons and we're supposed to take away two quarts so we have no quarts over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of those gallons and we're going to turn it into four quarts. And then we're going to have two gallons. So we end up with, instead of chain, calling it three gallons, we're changing it to two gallons plus four quarts. There's our three gallons. But now we can take away two quarts. So when we take away two quarts, we're gonna be left with two quarts. So we end up with two gallons and two quarts because we originally had four quarts here. Take away two quarts gives us two quarts. All right, very, very cool stuff. Um, I think that's enough on, on this one, although we can, uh, no, that's enough because I really want to focus on this page. This is the interesting page. So a uh, little bit more complicated. We've got two gallons and uh, four gallons and two quarts. In fact, let's zoom in on that. So we've got four gallons and two quarts, and we're supposed to add in three more quarts. So one way to do it is to think about it as saying, well, we've got four quart, uh, four gallons, but two quarts, plus three quarts, that gives us five quarts. And we need to remember that quarts, it takes four quarts to make a gallon. So you have four quarts plus one extra quart. So that means these four quarts make a gallon. So instead of having four gallons, we actually have five gallons and we have one little quart left over. Oops, I don't need that little part. One little quart left over. All right, so if I want to do some subtraction, let's see, how many pints in a gallon? So let's see, I never remember this. So what I have to do is I have to go over here and I have to think about good Queens prefer chocolate. And <laughs> I remember that we have one gallon, four quarts, eight pints, and 16 cups. So in one gallon, you get eight pints. All right? And that's what that means. So one gallon is equal to eight pints. So now, if I'm ready to do what is this? D. 
I'm going to do D now. So D says we've got 11 gallons and 3 pints. And we're sub supposed to subtract 4 gallons and 6 pints. Well, we can subtract the gallons. 11 gallons minus 4 gallons. That gives us 7 gallons. So we end up with 7 gallons and 3 pints. But we still have to subtract 6 pints. So how are we going to do that? Well, we could take one of these gallons and convert it. So I'm going to change one of these gallons. So now we have six. And that, that gallon is really eight pints. Remember that? That gallon is really eight pints. So all together, we now have 11 pints. So eight pints plus three pints gives us 11 pints. So all together, we now have six gallons and 11 pints. And I'm going to, let's see, highlight this to say that this is really 11 pints now. So we have six gallons and 11 pints, and we're supposed to take away six pints. Well, 11 pints take away six pints gives us five pints, and we have the six gallons left over. So we have six gallons and five pints. Now, I'm going to show another way to do that same problem. It's kind of cool. I want you to think of a, a number line. All right. And way back here, we've got four gallons and six pints. All right. And we didn't need that little mark there. And way over here, we've got 11 gallons and three pints. And basically, what we're going to think about is, what do we have to add to the 4 gallons and 6 pints to get to the 11 gallons, 3 pints? So what do we have to add in order to get all the way to the 11 gallons and 3 pints? Well, we know 8 pints equals a gallon. So we could start by saying, well, let's add 2 pints. Because if we add two pints, that's going to bump us up to five gallons. And then, once I'm here, I can add six gallons, because that's going to give us, bring us up to 11 gallons. And then to go from 11 gallons to 11 gallons, three pints, is just three more pints, plus three more pints. So what did we add together all together? We added six gallons plus five pints. And that's exactly our answer up here. So you could use a number line to, to do this as well. It's kind of cool. And now we have a word problem to practice what we've been doing. We have the capacity of a bucket is five gallons. Right now it contains three gallons, two quarts. How much more liquid can the bucket hold? A couple of couple of ways to solve this. So basically we're saying five gallons minus three gallons and two quarts. All right. So one way to do this is to take that five gallons and make it four gallons plus four quarts. Because we could take a gallon and rename it as four quarts, which is the same thing as a gallon, right? So four gallons plus four quarts is the same thing as five gallons. Now we can take away three gallons and two quarts. When we do that, four gallons take away three gallons gives us one gallon. And four quarts take away two quarts gives us two quarts. So one gallon, two quarts is our answer. Now, another way we could do it, we could think of a number line. And we could start way down here at three gallons and two quarts and figure out what do we have to add to get to five gallons. So what do we need to add? Well, first we can add some quarts to get up to the next gallon. So we can add two quarts. And that will give us four gallons. And then to go from four gallons to five gallons, that's easy. That's just one gallon. 
So what did we have to add all together? We needed to add one gallon plus two quarts, and that's what we had over here. So that's a different way to do that. But the uh, problem is to use a number line. And that wraps up fourth grade, module seven, lesson six, solving problems involving mixed units of capacity.